<laughs> while he's actually celebrating. Um, mm-hmm. But let's get into our next segment here of new women tag champs, KC2, Caden Carter, and Katana Chance. Finally defeating Ooh. Chelsea Green Ooh. and <laughs> 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 defeating Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Finally, uh, what do you guys think about that and what direction this is going to? Sure, finally, a real tag team with the tag team titles <laughs> in the women's division. Yes, a finally a, an actual tag team that actually was together in NXT. Like we've actually like we've actually watched this story of this team. You know, coming up, I remember when um when uh Katana Chance, you know, when, when she, before she teamed up with Caden mm-hmm. Carter, when she, when she was just known as the um I think it was American Ninja Warrior Warrior or American yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. came from. Like she was just known that she was just known as that competitor from that show. But some of the stuff that she would do, like I remember her entrance, she used to like climb up the ring post to get into yep. the to get into the ring the ring and such. So so since NXT, and then she found Caden Carter. So since NXT, we've been following, following, following this team when when they were when they weren't booked at all to when when they finally put something behind them mm-hmm. and they put a, put a gimmick on them, you know them them coming out and um, uh, dancing. Uh, so the, the, we've seen the uh, progression, and now that we get to now, I still remember when they won the uh, tag team titles in, in in NXT and how and how they made such a big spectacle of it. So. <laughs> Definitely a positive. I'm glad we, we got an actual team as um women, women's uh, tag team champion, and not only for their standpoint, but from the standpoint of uh, Chelsea and, and uh, Piper Niven, I'm glad they finally got the titles off of them because now P- P- they can separate. Piper can be that that dominant that dominant uh, woman that we that we hope that we hope she can show similar to similar to how similar to um, not how Nia Jax is being presented yeah. now. I did definitely think Piper has that potential. And now Chelsea Green, you know, this character that she's she's portrayed, you know, you know, you know, this Karen character, you know, it's it's such good character, such good <laughs> character work that you know she's such a good character that she doesn't necessarily need need a title to be be entertaining because they can set up set up so many circumstances w- w- with her. You know, being that caring character, that it'll, it'll be um, it'll be exciting. So proud of um, uh, Katana Chance and Caden Carter for uh, w- w- winning the titles. We got an actual team a- as champions right now, and then being the, being the uh, babyface teams. I think they already announced that for day one that we're gonna have um, Tegan Knox and Natalia teaming up to, to take on um, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Starks for the number one contender spot. Um, so with them being a legit team, a babyface team, I think a lot of these teams. Are a lot of these teams in the women's division? Oh, a lot of them are consistent of, of heels, I think. Well, the majority of them are. So they're gonna have you know people, people, people chasing them. And like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it. They're a legit women's tag team. And I keep saying, and I keep saying that because you know when you look at these titles, you know they they were cursed for the longest time. And you know, you know Chelsea was on partner number three, and it seemed and it seemed like they had the titles even before for, that. Like, yeah, yeah, even yeah, before even that. Before that. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we and now we got like a, a legit team with the t- with the titles now, you know, it kind of gives up gives, gives us that hope that finally now that they can actually book these ta- women's tag team titles better moving forward. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Man. I think just this women's tag team division, like I mean, it's like you said, Brian. Like yes, yeah, so this is finally one of the f- actual tag teams, but it's like I don't know. They still got to do more. Like they should. All these, you know, people that they're highlighting that like, oh, are the oh, who's gonna be the next contender? You got Tegan and Natalia, and then Shayna and um, uh, Zoe Stark, and then um, what's her name? Why am I spacing on her name? Poison Pixie. What's her name? Um, oh, Candice Ray and uh, Indy Hartwell. It's like, okay, I don't know. I know Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae were actual tag team champs in NXT, but it's like people don't really – I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have don't really know them. Well, maybe and, this is a way that they can showcase them and make them a tag team and actually get them some reps as a tag team on the main I roster. Know. At least. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not trying to shit on the women's division. But That's exactly what you're I doing. mean, you might as well. You've been shitting, you've been shitting on more years. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> – oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Give me, give me one match that you remember was stood out for you guys. I, I'll wait. Oh, no, I'm just saying. No, no, we no, no, this no, year, no, no. This year, no. I can't do it. The, the, this year, me, I can't. Give me do one. It. Give me one. This year, this, this, this year, I can't do it. 
<laughs> this year I can't. Brian. Oh, oh, Brian. Brian. No, 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 Brian. No, 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 we're talking WWE, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. If that's the case, then you're right. Yeah, no, I can't think of one. Okay. Wait, Rontel so Rodriguez and Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler wasn't awesome? <laughs> what match? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck thing you were talking about. I don't even remember that shit. Exactly. So don't say I'm shitting You don't on remember what Liv Morgan got taken out? I'm just saying, I don't know. For some reason, these tag matches, they just don't do, – I don't know. Maybe it's the spots. Maybe it's the way that they're That's- constructed. I think it's that because it's like when you compare the men's matches, like look at what Judgment Day and Creed Brothers just is. You're like not even that they're doing crazy high-flying stuff, but it's just like – I don't know. Maybe it's just written a different way, but when I see the women's tag matches... That's too... I think that's the weakness of Chelsea Green, right? Even though her character's over, in ring, she's not going to put on a banger performance as other women in the division. I think that's the part where it falls flat a little bit. I think that's also because, like... And I think think just the people involved with, especially with Piper Niven, she doesn't really have a character, and we feel like she should be on her own. Rather and that's than why, being a that's lackey. why I didn't like the makeshift team. She was, team. She was a lackey like, with uh, she was a lackey with uh, Eva Marie. Exactly. And it's like she shouldn't she shouldn't be a lackey. So it's just uh, like that. Then, it, then look at look at look. Don't, don't bring up that time ever again because her name. <laughs> wait wait wait. No, wait, her name was Dude Drop. Dude Drop time. That was Dude Drop time. Destroy her. They're kind of they're kind of treating her the same. So this is what I'm saying though. But these is more the makeshift tag teams where it's like. Look, you you were doing video packages for Tegan Knox and everything. Oh, the shiniest wizard, blah, blah, blah. and then boom, she's in the tag team. The tag tag. Team. It's like, why when would Liv we Morgan care comes, about them Liv being Morgan a tag comes, team? Whenever Liv Morgan comes back, she's in the tag team. <laughs> no, and this is what I'm saying. It's like I mean, but just in, you can't just you on, can't just you can't just keep throwing people together and have them get excited for tag matches, and then you're like, mm-hmm. well, what can they do? And then it's just like they're not really a tag team. You know, well, yes, we the finally way... got these, we got these two. You know, Katana Chanta and um, Caden Carter. Caden Carter. Carter, like they, you know, they have a move set, and it's like these other teams don't have these move sets where you're like, oh, they're gonna hit this spot, they're gonna do this move. Where you're like, it's just like we don't know what work. what it is. So it's like, why am I gonna get excited for these matches? You know, I think that's first where... off. First off, congratulations to the new champions. I'm happy that they won. That we've seen them be in NXT a long time during that 2.0 era. And coming up and stuff like that and actually being a tag team. Um, so congratulations to them. But my first question is what happened to Alba Fire and Ilya Dawn? Uh, Alba Dawn? Al- well, te- well, technically, roster wise, they're on, they're on SmackDown. SmackDown. So but where are yeah. they? <laughs> Hopefully, this is a time to reintroduce them. And um, get them weren't the they main- introduced in like Halloween? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they actually hosted um, the second week of Halloween Havoc um, for NXT. They did. They, they, they I, thought they had like some, I thought they had some little promo things where they were talking about like, oh, we're coming or something or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that the tag team titles are cursed and everything. Yeah. Hopefully. Maybe that can continue that and they can go after each other and that continues to build up that tag team division. That's what I'm I mean, hoping with this. I mean, remember, team. now now, now Katana and Kaden, they can travel now because they could they have the titles. So yes. You would think more than the, the, the likely challenges they would step up to next would be Alba Dawn and Alba Fire, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, but uh, Lewis is right. Um, they haven't since this Halloween Havoc. I know that they they did a couple of weeks of worth of promo packages talking about how the titles are cursed and how that and, and how there there should be the rightful owners. And you know you haven't heard from, you haven't really heard from them since, but I, I, I guess they would say that well because SmackDown is only two hours long and we can only put put so put so much on one show, but. But yet, but yet, here you are doing a promo package of Karrion Cross, and yet, <laughs> and yet you're, tr- you're trying with him. Why can't you try with them? You know? Oh, man. Karrion Cross. But no, seriously, like I feel like this is a way that they can reset this tag team division. Maybe give Chelsea and Chelsea Green just bring her husband in at the Royal Rumble, please, and just have them pair with each other and be annoying. Just oh, do that. radio! <laughs> yeah. oh, it's, funny, it's funny you. It's funny you say that, Daniel, because I actually just saw an interview that he did that pretty much says that if they do resign. If they do resign him, he 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 wants to be done with Zack Ryder forever. He said that they he can't be Zack Ryder. Now he, nah, he said they resign me. They need to resign me as Matt Cardona. Zack Ryder is dead. Now like, he actually he said that in the interview. So like him sure. him. Him, mm-hmm. him, and his wife should just be a tandem and just cause havoc and be annoying and <laughs> just be annoying. 
just be annoying. That's mm-hmm. that's that, that's what, the, and not like a Matt Bennett in uh 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 what's the shorty's name? Oh, my my Canellis. Right, please do not do it like yeah, that. Make the there the. the let them go. Well, the that was let them have, have, let them have mixed tags. <laughs> let them be entertaining. Uh, okay, that guys. We, 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 yeah, we we all know why it was like that though. That was that was that was only one man that booked those two that way. So we don't. So we don't need to dwell on that. We know. We know. We Bruce know. That, <laughs> <laughs> we know that we we know that was his uh, that was his thinking. Which during that time yeah. was some shitty thinking, as with a lot of <laughs> ideas, as with a lot of ideas he came up with. But yeah, but we don't need we don't need to dwell specific, specifically <laughs> no, on, but that's, on that's that. The first, that's, that, that's the first thing I want them to do with Chelsea Green. Just put her with Matt Cardona. Have them be entertaining. He can be a threat in the mid card title. Maybe mm-hmm. challenge for the world title at some point, and be entertaining as hell because he's worked on his character. He's worked on himself. Give him that chance if he comes in. Whatever the case may be. But in terms of Piper Niver, have her go on her solo run. Have her be a threat in the women's division because um, she should be in that spot. We, I've seen her in NXT UK, the Mae Young Classic she was entertaining. So give her a chance there. But as for the women's tag team division, I feel like this is a reset, and hopefully they can start putting some real tag teams in there. And just use the NXT tag, women's tag teams. You already have Indy Hartwell and uh, Candice LeRae there. You got other people there. Just have that be the focus. Those three teams be the focus of the women's tag team division going forward. I want them to go heel. Who? Uh, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. They might. They, I mean, they might as well. I mean, that's when they were at their best. I mean, when the when the when that stable with Joe with Gargano and Theory, yeah, the way. they were all together and they were all heels. That's when that's when they were the most interesting. Can that's when like, the whole Poison Triple. Pixie character actually made sense. Yep. Triple H, just yep. give us our heel group. Just give it yeah. to us. <laughs> <laughs> they need. They need it. They yeah. need it. I like I like Chiampa and, and Joey Gargano, but it's like yeah, but there's another one. <laughs> Tom, you know, Tommaso Ciampa. There we go. Yeah, um, Ciampa and Gargano, but yeah. if they're gonna be, we're not really getting anything out of them. This tag team division has been in holding pattern with the Judgment Day a little bit here. Um, we got the Creed brothers, who we'll talk about in a moment. But it's just like just just put them in the way again and make them be heels and be conniving and yeah, just do that. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what we need. 